All right, I'm gonna check this. First, I'm gonna do like this. See if the indicator light is on. Wait for it to blink. It's not blinking, so there's clearly an issue. So before I get to that, I'm gonna check the expiration dates. On here, the expiration date is 118, so these need to be replaced uh, relatively soon because this is coming up in the next few months. So have that, and then check the pads on the inside to make sure that these are up to date. This one right here is expiring this month, so we'll go ahead and take this one out. There's another pad in here. This one expires like the first of the year, so in a few months, so I'll replace this probably next month or so. So we'll put that back in there. So that's good. So the expiration dates are good. For the ones in there, I have to replace the pediatric pad. Um, so I'll get to that. Then I'm going to check the expiration date on the battery. So I'll just pop it out by pressing this orange button. See, I'll pop it out. And the expiration date on this is not for a few years. So this is good, but I'm assuming that the battery in here is bad, the non-volt battery. But in order to check that, I'm going to pop the battery back in. And then I'm going to press and hold the on button. Performing unit self-test. So when I hold it in like that, it's going to perform the self-unit test. And it's going to take a couple of seconds and it's going to let me know if everything's okay with the reviver defibrillator. Unit okay. Replace 9 volt battery. So it's indicating that the 9 volt battery needs to be replaced. So this battery in here, this 9 volt battery needs to be replaced. Now this battery right here is just used for indicating if um, the unit is dead or if there's any problems with it. So it uses this so it won't drain the main battery pack right here. So I need to replace this 9 volt lithium battery and I have to replace it with a lithium battery because if I use alkaline, the battery will not last that long. All right, and that's how you check the DefibTech Reviver AED. Remember to look at the user manual before you do this and go by strictly the user manual before you do this. Thanks a lot.